Hello, traders. Cousin Vinny coming to you from the closingprint.com, Sunday, the 12th of November, with your weekend video newsletter. In this edition, we'll cover the indices which rallied last week, adding to a rally that started two weeks ago with the S&P 500 closing above 4,400 to end the week. Breath improved, and sectors also drove a bit higher with the exception of energy. Finally, after the close, we had a Moody's downgrade of U.S. debt, which may put a damper on the rally in the short term. The S&P 500, as we mentioned, closed above the 4,400 level with the call wall shifting to 4,400 as the index added to a rally that started two weeks ago, gaining 300 points in the process. RSI is still above 50 and pointing higher. That's good. MACD is above its signal line and rising. Bulls are in control. However, we do have an overbought condition in stochastics, similar to what we had back in June and July. That didn't seem to hold prices back. For now, we have a Moody's downgrade of U.S. debt, so... We'll be a bit cautious starting out the week, looking for a follow-through or a stall at this area. Either way, it would be prudent to wait for 10 o'clock or so on Monday and then reassess the quality of this rally. The New York FANG Index, 10 stocks that managed to follow through as well, breaking out on Monday, Tuesday. Similar condition here with MACD and Stochastics, RSI pointing strongly higher as these 10 stocks dominate price action, with nine of 10 of these stocks moving markedly higher last week, we did have Tesla with a little bit of a lag underneath its 21 day and 50 day. We need to see that price action continue to pick up this week to start. We also had Microsoft breaking out, very strong price action on Apple, Microsoft, Broadcom, and Nvidia with the semiconductors leading. That said, we're waiting for small caps to join the party. You do know that I have a iron condor on IWM, so I'm looking for price action to stay in this range between 200 and 160. Still, we'd like to see this index participate and join in. As mentioned previously in the opening monologue, we did see breath improving, advanced decline percent, move back down to zero, giving us energy to push higher if bulls do return on Monday, Tuesday. So watch advanced decline percent for these four to move higher, along with the NASDAQ McClellan Oscillator and New York Stock Exchange. Both of these are moving higher. I'm looking at the black line, looking for NICE to continue higher. The summation index, the last time we crossed to the upside was back in June. That led to a nice rally from June into the July peak. In addition, volatility did peak, moved a bit lower, closing at the lows of the week with a gravestone doji on Friday. This is bullish if we continue into this week. With the Moody's downgrade, we'll be watching the yields this week with the 10-year closing at the 50-day for the entire week, looking for a move lower for the bulls. If you're bearish, you're looking for this to bounce and to drive higher. Uh, Powell did mention that he's open to the idea of raising rates if he needs to, which did put a punctuation mark on the 30-year bond auction that drove the markets lower on Thursday. So we really need to pay attention to yields this week, along with junk bonds and high yield corporate we need to see both of these driving higher that would give us a follow-through on the past two weeks bullish price action in addition we want iwm and biotechs to continue and for crude oil to back off a bit more bitcoin needs to move higher that's a risk on asset and advanced decline we'd like to see continue higher Additional signals, we would watch the U.S. dollar. Has it been in a range for the past six weeks or so? We're looking for this to move lower 
that would be bullish for equities, especially companies like Microsoft, NVIDIA that sell products overseas. So look for the U.S. dollar to fade if you're bullish and to move higher if you're bearish. With the dollar range bound, we did see gold move lower along with silver and copper. The latter, of course, is an economically sensitive indicator. We want copper to be moving higher, not lower. So that is one of the bearish signals for the week. While commodities moving lower would be a bullish signal for the week. So we have mixed signals counteracting each other along with that Moody's downgrade and yields hanging on to the 50-day moving average. Finally, consumers can smile as crude oil continues its decline, peaking back in October, adding to Christmas spirit if we can get crude oil and gasoline prices lower into the end of year. Overall, bonds, currencies, and commodities are giving us mixed signals. Sectors are improving over the last two weeks. The rally that started two weeks ago on Monday, Tuesday continues to look good, along with what we see in the international ETFs with Brazil, Mexico, the Netherlands, and South Korea standouts. Looking for continuation this week. As mentioned previously, semiconductors outperformed last week, so you would expect tech to move higher along with that Magnificent 7 or the New York Fang Index 10, with all of those stocks moving higher with the exception of Tesla, which could join the party this week. We do have a lot of retail companies reporting, Target, Best Buy, Walmart, etc. So make sure you're paying attention to the retail stocks if you have any in your portfolio. Also, consumer discretionary looking very strong to end the week. Nice volume the previous week coming into this Monday, Tuesday. Look for RSI to point the way as strength in the trend improves. RSI will continue to move higher. We're also watching volume very closely into this week and November OPEX on Friday. If this strength and consumer discretionary continues, look for all of these moving averages to continue higher. Since this looks nothing like 2022, when we peaked and saw this indicator turn lower and the bear market start, we look nothing like that. Possibly a rally into November OPEX and a Santa Claus rally to end the year. This week, we have a number of stocks from the IBD 50 looking very strong. Pay particular attention to the stocks with asterisks next to them. They either have high relative volume, RSI rising, stochastics, or MACD bullish, or all of them. So keep an eye on these stocks. The list below IBD 50 all show rising profit estimates. And the very interesting thing about this list is that there were over 210 of them indicating these companies had rising profit estimates, not just for the current quarter, but for future quarters. With everyone talking about lower earnings and recession, you would expect to see the opposite. It's just a highlight that I'd like to point out going into this week. Arch Capital, Rising profit estimates, note the 9, 21, 50, 200 day are all pointed up and to the right. Volume picked up on Thursday and Friday as we touch the 21 day. So if this continues, look for RSI to point the way. Strength of price action. Amphistar Pharmaceuticals, another stock from the IBD 50 and on the scan, looking for stocks that have improving and rising profit estimates going into the next quarter and into next year. Nice pop on Thursday, volume increasing, RSI near 70. Stochastics and MACD pointing to a bullish trend continuation this week. Watch for a flag and potential breakout above 53 on Monday. MongoDB, a descending channel for the last three and a half, four months. Price action finally showing signs of a potential breakout. Additional stocks like SMCI have a very similar pattern. Rising profit estimates. Looking for SMCI to get back above 280, 300. Stochastics MACD turning, RSI rising. Strength in semiconductors. Prevalent last week. 
volume increasing on Broadcom, breaking out to 52 week highs. MACD and stochastics rising, RSI pointed to strength of trend. And Broadcom weekly showing that range where price is breaking above, above its 10 EMA. Volume shows institutions have been picking up shares for the last 12 months. Along with NVIDIA, which reported a 100% revenue beat year over year last time around. The company reports again Tuesday the 21st, the following week on Tuesday after the close. Additional semiconductors like Marvell moving back above all of its moving averages with the exception of the 100 day moving average. We have RSI rising showing strength of this trend is improving. Volume picking up, MACD stochastics turned higher. Look for semis to continue to perform this week. If they pause, we'll let you know during the live broadcast. We want to see semiconductors follow through this week. In addition, watch the travel and leisure sector. Booking.com looking very strong. We also saw Expedia popping up on the most actives list. Booking continues to show strength of trend. RSI is rising. Volume picked up for the last two weeks. MACD is above its signal line and rising. With Expedia showing similar strength. With some of the cruise ship companies like Royal Caribbean beating, they reported back on October 26th a revenue beat and growing at 39% year over year. Looking for price to continue this trend higher. 921 look like they're going to cross up through the 50. The 50 is turning with the 200 day pointing up into the right. RSI shows strength of trend. MACD higher and stochastics embedded going into Monday. In addition, while crude oil remains somewhat weak and fading, we saw the airlines starting to turn the corner. Perhaps these also have a bullish trend into year end. As examples with American and United Airlines, higher highs and higher lows. Looking for these to follow through. With gasoline and crude oil remaining near recent lows. Additional stocks you may want to consider in the communication sector. You can see that we're about to break out or at least test 52-week highs. So you would expect to see stocks like Meta, the top of the list in the communication sector to continue with RSI pointing higher, telling you that this strength in this trend may persist. MACD is above a signal line and rising, volume increasing with additional stocks in the communication sector like Netflix break into new highs on Friday, volume picked up, RSI is rising. With Google lagging a little bit, but still managing to push back above the 100 period, the 9, 21 day, looking for a move back above the 50 day, RSI is rising. Additional communication stocks, just check them out. Along with tech stocks like Apple and Microsoft, all of which are performing very well going into November OPEX. Okay, traders, this is going to do it for me. This is because of Benny coming to you from theclosingprint.com on Sunday, the 12th of November with your weekend video newsletter. I'll send out a watch list later tonight around midnight on the East Coast, 9 o'clock on the West Coast. So be sure to check your inbox for that. Also, make sure you check in the names that are on the lists below, especially the group with rising profit estimates as these companies are doing the exact opposite of what the financial media is telling you to expect. Finally, we do have to remember that Moody's had a downgrade of U.S. debt after the close on Friday. So we'll be watching very closely how the markets open up and whether we proceed with weakness or strength going into the opening bell on Monday. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you in the morning. Ciao.